My mother meets my dealer in a little cafe on Upper Street. And you know she sometimes buys him cake. Apparently he's fond of meringues. Would you see your daughter, your precious daughter, go onto the streets and prostitute herself? I've always had a rule that served me well. Never believe a junkie. Would you rather get a phone call in the middle of the night from your daughter, screaming that her dealer is going to kill her and the line go dead? But, Mother, you have bought me drugs when I asked you to pay for them and pick them up. If you think I will hesitate in cutting your face in half, then you must think again. What hackneyed neatness. One daughter who battles with reality and another who flees from it. Because I've seen a thousand girls like you in my time here, feeling like the world's coming to an end. Everything is background now. Tap, modern, ballet, horse riding and learning to play the flute. But no, we all have to protect Lucy. Lucy the pretty one, Lucy the talented one. I mean, you can't really call it an illness, can you? It's an addiction. This is about doing all the things you need to do to get yourself better. Not what other people want. Apart from the lemming, as far as I'm aware, humans are the only creatures capable of self-destruction. We all make bad choices, Lucy, because we're human. Tell me, what would you do? But, Mummy, you enable my habit. How can a mother's love be too much? I don't know why the working class gets such a bad press. I find the middle class infinitely crasser. Why has this happened to us? Things like this don't happen to families like ours. <laughs>